Back again with another video. This time I'm looking at the KNF Concept 8 in 1 cleaning kit. I'll try and keep it pretty short and just show you what's included. Give you a few thoughts. It does come with quite a nice carry case. This does have a buckle with a strap so you can keep all your bits in there together. So I'll open it up now, show you what's inside and then just go through each of the items individually. Quick close up on the case, that does have a plastic covering with a mesh over the front. We've got three compartments in total on this. There's the one on the inside there at the top, main compartment, and on the back, that's where they put the sensor swabs. What I've done is laid all the items out and that's the complete kit. And I'll go through each of them individually just to show you up close. You do get a user guide. I don't think you particularly need it, but it does give you some hints and tips on cleaning. On this particular kit, you get a total of eight APS-C and two full frame sensor swabs. They do do different kits, so do look on the links. They've got just the swabs with the cleaning solution for different sensor sizes. There's two quite large microfiber cloths. They're also quite thick material. Now I did get the container for the lens cleaner, but there's no fluid in this. I did ask KNF about this and they said, if you order it off of Amazon, you will get the lens fluid with that. And as it happens, I can't even use this because it doesn't include the tube. So a little bit of a fail there from KNF on that review sample. Next up, we've got a pen, which is pretty much a clone of the lens pen or something quite similar. I'll take the cap off to show you that. That's the round tip. So you'd use that mostly for lenses, but you can pull that out and reverse it around. And there is another shape on the other side that is a triangular shape. There's a potential use for that a bit later on, which I will show you. The idea with the carbon pad is that absorbs the grease and dirt, although it remains to be seen how long they actually last for. Some of them last for quite a while, evidently. Next up, you can just push the red slider and that brings out the brush. Would have liked a cap on that, would have helped keep a little bit of dust off of it. Next up, we've got probably the most useful device in the kit, which is a blower. Slightly different design to the rocket blowers that I have, but it does do the same thing. There's also six vacuum sealed microfiber cloths. These ones are thinner than the orange ones that I showed you earlier, and they're also not as large, 16 by 14 centimeters, although they are microfiber and you can wash them out as well. I'll quickly show you the cleaning swabs. These are pretty much standard. They are dry swabs. So you will need to get fluid if you want to do wet cleaning. I did do a video on sensor cleaning, so I will link to that in the card. And at the end of the video, it's worth watching that. It's very short, shows you exactly what to do. Next up, we have some gloves. These are quite interesting. They appear to be a single size. I have sort of moderate to larger size hands. Didn't have any problems with these fitting. What they've done is they've treated the tips all the way around with polyurethane and what that means is that it just gives a little bit of grip if you are say picking up at a lens or a camera body. One point to note though, I wouldn't handle film negatives with these, they wouldn't be soft enough for that, but they are not abrasive from what I can see. I'll go back to the lens cleaning pen and with the triangular tip, I found this to be quite good, particularly for things like viewfinders, where you can actually get grease and dirt in there. Because of the shape, you can turn that around and does a pretty good job of keeping that area clean. For standard cleaning, what I'd usually do is just blow off the surface, get rid of any dirt. You could also use the brush to do that if you wanted to, just give it a quick shake out before you use it and a quick shake out afterwards. I'm not sure that the lens cleaning pen offers any particular advantage over a cleaning cloth, but some people do like them. If you do have grease on the element, don't put the brush on there because that will contaminate it and it will mean you'll have to wash that out. You'll end up spreading grease all around. So I just go straight in there with the microfiber cloths. And that's one case where you might want to use a bit of lens cleaning solution. Microfiber cloths are very good for picking up dirt. There is one thing to say though, you do have to keep them clean. So once you've been using them for a while, make sure that you wash them out. And I've been caught out myself a few times on this. I've used a cloth and it's ended up putting more dirt on than it's taken off. So keep them washed out, keep them clean. Couple of places to improve though. I would have pre-treated those swabs just so that you could take them out and you'd had the wet swabs. 
pretty much wraps it up for me on this particular one. Don't forget, do stick around. I've got more videos coming up soon. And thanks for watching.